<clears throat> Hi, good evening. Hi, Marco. Hi, Johnny. Francisco, Hi, Carlos. Hi, teacher. Hi, Johnny. Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Do you have toes? Do I have? Uh, toes in English? Ah, uh, cough. Cough. Excuse me. Um, no, I don't think I do, but I think I've been talking too much. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Edwin. Hi, Edwin. Tienes un microphone. Yeah. Hello, hello teacher. ¿Cómo siguió? Um, so, so. So, so. Okay. Yeah. Sí, así se le escucha todavía. A ver, pero gracias por estar en clase. Very nice. Hi, Carlos. Daniel. Hi, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. <laughs> I just remember my morning class. <laughs> All right. So, wow, Daniel, okay. today you're not in the, uh, you're not at work today, Daniel. No, I'm officially, I, I am my annual leave for 15 oh, days. Oh my goodness, that's very nice. <laughs> All right, do you have any plans for these 15 yes, days? very nice. No, only celebrate the birthday of my son. Oh, okay. The, um, this is this, this the, the, the baptism. Oh, yeah, the baptism, baptism. uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, the baptism, um, yeah, only this weekend and another way we'll be seen. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> all right, very good. Hi, Maritza, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hi. You, teacher? I'm great, thank you, Maritza, thank you, I'm fine. Happy to be with you guys again. Alexander, good evening. Carlita, Jorge, very good. All right, guys. So yesterday, um, hi, good evening. Yesterday, hi, Maria Melina. Yesterday, we finished the class with... Um, hi, teacher. Hi. We finished class yesterday with a review of prepositions for and since. Okay, so right now, en lo que están entrando los demás compañeros y compañeras, y antes de tomar la asistencia, I'm going to share my screen y lo vamos a ir trabajando juntos, okay? All right, so here it says, for and since, eso es lo que compartíamos ayer antes de retirarnos, all right? So let's see, um, Daniel, read number one. And you can include the preposition, Daniel, okay? Okay, the number one is nobody has come to see us since we, since we bought this small house. That's right. Nobody has come to see us since we bought this small house, all right? Okay, so since that moment, nobody has come to see us. Very good. Maritza, can you do number two? He has been a doctor since 1998. 1998, yes, of course. Since 1998. Very good. I'm just trying to... I was trying to do something here, but I can't. All right, so here we are going to write since. Anyway, all right, number three, very good. Since, um, yeah, she has been a doctor since 1998. All right, Maria Melina, can you do number three? Yes, teacher. Um, nobody has seen her for them. Mm, are you sure, Maria Melina? I don't really share to share. All right. Mm, nobody has seen her since then. Yeah. All right. Desde entonces. 
No por entonces, oh. ¿verdad? Yeah, very good. Yes, thank you. Okay. Carlos okay. o Alberto, can you, 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 can you do number four? Okay. They have all been ill since last week. Yes, all right. Very nice. Johnny, can you do number five? Okay. Num number four? Era four. Five. Five. Number five. Number five. five. Peter went to the library. He has studied there uh, for a long time. For a long time. All right. Yes. It's not really specific. I don't know since when. I just know for a long time. All right. Let's see. Um. Ever. Good evening, Ever. Um. What about number six, Ever? Good evening, everyone. Yes. It's, uh, uh, number six. Yes. It has been very foggy. Foggy. Mm -hmm. Foggy. Foggy. Yes. Until early morning. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 right now, ever we're only working no, with no, since no. and for. It has been very foggy, the meaning foggy, teacher. Ah, uh, nublado. Ah, it has been very foggy for early morning, early morning. Are you sure? Por temprano de la mañana o desde temprano en la mañana? Desde temprano. Desde. Uh -huh. So it would be six. Same. Excellent, very nice. Carlita, can you do number seven? Okay, Miss. Uh, I've, I've worked with you since Niger. Sí, porque no ha terminado de trabajar conmigo, ¿verdad? Según la oración. I have worked with you since nine years. Or you can also say, I have worked with you. Ah, oh, hold on. I have worked with you. ¿Quién tiene las siete? ¿Alguien más tiene las siete diferente? Teacher, in uh -huh. this case, why not this four? Because yeah. uh, it's in, in past. Yeah, it, I four, mean, it's, it's actually in present perfect. All right, so it's, um, I have worked with you for nine years. Yeah, it's right, it's not since it's four. Uh -huh. He trabajado con usted por nueve años. All right, and I still work with you. All right, um, Mariano, can you do number eight? Uh, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. He has been in prison for two years. Two years. He has been in prison teacher. for two years. For two years, yes. All right, he has been in prison for two years. All right. Alguien dijo teacher. Nobody said teacher? Nobody. Oh, okay. I'm listening <laughs> to strange mm -hmm. noises today. All right, let's see. Um. Jorge Argueta, no sé si puede participar, Jorge. Ahorita no, teacher. Ok, Thank no you. se preocupe. That's ok, no se preocupe. Um, Francisco, um, can you do number nine, hello, Francisco? Hello, everybody. Hi. Good evening. Uh, sorry, can you repeat me, please? Yes, um, I said number, number nine. Number nine, she has worked worked in that office uh, for a month. Uh -huh. For a month, very good. Number 10, Trini. Trini, can you do number 10? She has been eating anything for 24 hours. Um, he hasn't eaten anything for 24 hours. Okay. 
Let's see, number, la 11 no la íbamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Esa no la teníamos. Era la 17, creo. All right, there. 17. All right, yeah, 17. 16. Let's see. 16. 16? Okay. No, 17. I think it was 17. Yes, 17. Yeah, all right, let's see. The, Alexander, can you do 17, please? I've known her. I know. I I know her. Uh, things. Since we work. Uh -huh. Thanks. Uh, since ever. Since. We, since. Since we both studied in London. London. In London. Yes. Very good. London. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All right, Maria Melina, number 18. We live in Germany. Um, sign, sing, 1997. Uh, yes, very good. Okay, let's see. Um, Johnny, can you continue with number 19? Okay. Dave had this car um, since, since yes. April. There, very good, yeah. Thank you. Let's see. Maritza again, number 20. I don't have teacher. These have seen have changed. All right, anybody? That's okay, Four. Maritza. No se preocupe. Uh-huh. For I was in your house. Mm. Things have things have changed. For I was in your house, or since I was in your house. Anybody else? Que nos ayude con esa. Since 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 I was in your house. Very good. Marco, can you go on with twenty one? Hasta dónde tenían? Uh, 25. 25. Ah, okay, okay, okay. 25. Very good. Yes. Marco, continue please with 21. All right. Um, I've, I've known her uh, since the go war. Yeah, very good. All right. Let's see. Carlos o Alberto, next one. 22. Solo si me ayudan con un micrófono por ahí. 22. We have been there since October. Yes, we have been there since October. Very nice. All right, let's see. What about Francisco? Can you do 23? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, had been there. Since October. No, 23. Since October, sorry. That's okay. Pero era 23, 23 okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, I hear you that 22. But I have been a vegetarian. Yes, yes, it's correct. yes vegetarian, okay. yes. Uh-huh. I have been a vegetarian since... Uh, 1998. Excellent, very nice. All right. Uh, Victoria, Maria, Vicky, can you do number 24? No, no está por ahí. Mariano, can you do 24? Okay. I have live I have lived in this flat for five years. All right, for five years. And let's see here. Carla, can you do the last one? 25. I know here since age. Mm, I've known her since ages or for ages? For For ages. Yeah, for ages. For ages. Yeah, for mucho tiempo. All right, cuando ustedes dicen, I've known her for ages, es como desde chiquito. All right, very good. All right. 
Let's see, I'm going to stop sharing this y luego les voy a dar eh, una explicación que nos pueda ayudar como a terminar de entender el uso del for y el since, all right? I'm just going to take attendance right now. Let's see, Carlos Roberto Ra García Ramírez. Um, Carlos Alberto Rodríguez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present teacher. Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Jonathan. All right. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. Ahí ha escrito en el chat. Ah, ok. No, no lo he visto aún. Ok. No va a poder entrar. En el de WhatsApp ha escrito. Ah, ok. All right. Ah, José Francisco Hernández Ábalos. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Yes. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. Thank you. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Thank you. Romeo Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. Present. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. No. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Here. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge Alberto Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Ok. Ana Milcar Cañengues Aceituno. All right, guys. Very good. Victoria María. Ok, Victoria. Thank you. All right. Very good, guys. Ok. Entonces, what is the big difference between the use of for and since? For is when we have a specific moment or a specific period of time, all right? And since is when we have a specific start, all right? Porque yo le digo, I've been studying English since uh, 1998. Ahí empecé, por decir algo, no, 2018, por decir algo. Ahí empecé yo a estudiar inglés desde, estoy estudiando inglés, o es, ajá, estoy estudiando inglés desde 2018. I have been studying English since 2018. Ahora, yo le digo, I have studied English for four years, o no sé cuántos han pasado del, del 18. All right, entonces, el since es cuando me indica un punto de inicio y cubre hasta el momento. All right, porque si yo le digo, I have studied English since 2018, no he parado. All right, no he terminado. Ok. Si usted me dice, I've studied English for four years, tampoco he terminado, pero me dice, Estu he estudiado por cuatro años. ¿Desde cuándo? No sé. All right. Entonces, el since empieza, el, es un punto de inicio el since. El for is a specific period of time, two years, one hour, I, uh, I don't know, a decade, it doesn't matter how long, it's just a period of time, okay? So that is like the big difference between those two, all right? Ahora, si se fija, 
en estos ejemplos que acabamos de hacer, a ver, ahorita se los... Eh, todo lo que vimos, de hecho, está en presente perfecto. Quiere decir que esas dos formas, ya sea for and since, lo vamos a ocupar para ese tiempo verbal, el presente perfecto. Cuando usted dice yo he ido, yo he estado, he estudiado, yo he trabajado, yo o ella ha eh, salido desde las 5 de la mañana. All right, entonces usamos el for and since for that um, tense, ¿ok? So that's something that we need to understand. All right, I don't know if you have questions. Carlos Eduardo, ya lo veo. I don't know if you have questions about for and since. No? Everything okay? Uh, teacher, correct yes. me if yes. I work. Mm -hmm. Since uh, indica como un punto de partida hasta el momento. Y for indica uh -huh. una cantidad como culminada. Digámoslo así. Si lo quiere ver así, ajá. Tal vez no culminada, pero usted no me da un... Un inicio. Usted me dice, yo he estudiado por tantos años. Por Ajá, dos años, por un diga, año. Como que yo le diga, yo estudié nueve, diez, once años. Exacto, pero no sé desde cuándo. No sé no, cuándo empezó. No una fecha de inicio. Ajá. Y en cambio en los otros, cuando se trata de scenes, uh -huh. se pone solamente fecha de inicio y... Se y continúa. Este Ajá, exacto. Yes, Marco. Ah. Very good. Excellent. All right, very nice. A ver, uh, solo para ir, yes. Okay, solo para ir terminando esto con el for y el since. Write one sentence using for and write one sentence using since. A ver cómo le sale las oraciones. Hay cualquier oración que usted quiera. One using for and the other one using since. Um, okay. Hi, Frank. I have a question. Yes, Francisco. About since. Is the same down front. Look. Similar. You can say, yeah, you can use it. La diferencia is that usually we use from and to. All right, so you say, I've studied English from nine, 2018 to 2020. So you give two uh -huh. dates. All right. It's more specific. Yeah, because you tell me exactly when you began and you tell me exactly when you finished, Francisco. Okay. Okay, Thank perfect. You. Yeah, very good. All right, so everyone, please, writing a sentence using for and writing another sentence using since. par de minutitos y me van avisando. Are we finished or not yet? One sentence, teacher. One and one. One and one. Yeah. Sorry, Marita, what was your question? Um, only one. Only yeah, one sentences. sentence for four and one sentence for since, Marita. Okay. I finished teaching. Ah, excellent. Tell me your sentences, please. I have working, work, at work. Well, excellent, for, Marita. Nice. Que bonito se le oyó. Uh -huh. For programming for seven years. Excellent. Nice. And the other, I have worked for programming since 2015. Yes, all right, very good, yeah. 
Very nice. Thank you. Excellent, Maritza. Very good. Are there more people? Yes, Maria Melina. Tell me your sentence. Okay. okay. I traveled to Guatemala for three days. And my son study in the university since twenty. Since um, 2019. Very good, Maria Menina. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Anybody else? Someone else that wants to share your sentences? Johnny, tell me. Teacher. Yes, of course. I have worked in the school for six years. Okay. And I worked in UNASA since 2010. Okay, all right. All right, very good, thank you. Okay, Me anybody teacher. else? Me teacher. Yes, Hilmar, go ahead, please, thank you. Uh, I live in the city of Santa Tecla for five years. Okay. Ahora uh, con since uh, I have lived in the city of San Salvador since my childhood. Oh, since your childhood. Interesting. Very good, Hilmar. Nice. I like that. Yes, childhood. Very good. Anybody else? Child. Yes, my childhood as niñas. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Maybe sure. Yes, okay. Uh, I worked in Hensbrand for five years. Okay. I have been studying English since 2020. Oh, very good. All right. Ajá, very good. Solo acuérdense, ahí, ahí, ya escuché algunos que se están autocorrigiendo y eso está genial. Acuérdense que la pronunciación es since. All right. Esa es tal cual. Since. Ese es since. No le puede poner ningún otro colochito. All right. It's since. Very nice. A ver, Francisco, I don't know if you wanted to share the sentences. Yeah. Uh, for example, I play basketball since 2015. Okay. All right. And another example, I had been studying English for two weeks by Insafor or with Insafor. I don't know. With, with Insafor. All right. With. With Insafor. Okay. Yes. Very good. And mm -hmm. I have another example. Mm -hmm. I work at Betri from April to nowadays. Oh, very good. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Very good. Uh, I. I can say that. Yes, you can say that. Can... All right. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much me for those info. Ah, oh, yes, Edwin, tell me. I, I have a worker since three years in Kosavi. Okay. Yes. Um, I, ha I, I have. Wait, 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 wait. Eliseo. I have worked. I have worked. Uh huh. Otra vez. Worked. I have worked since. Uh huh. Three years. Okay. In, in Kosai. A ver, pero si decimos since three years, me está dando un, un periodo específico. Tres años. Okay. Sería yes. since or four. Pero, pero no puedo decir desde. Si sí puede, si usted hace esto, I have worked at, por decir algo. At English uh, Corporativo since three years ago. Si le pone el ago al final, si puede. Si no le uh -huh. pone el ago, entonces no. Sería for no. three years, uh -huh. nada más. For three, um, pues entonces estaría, si, si le pongo el for, solo estaría diciendo que por tres años. Sí, y le quita el since. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh, All right. Hey, I, I have played football for seven years. Yes, yes, very nice, yes. Okay. All right, Maritza, no sé si tiene una pregunta. No, teacher. No, okay, all right, very good. Michelle, thank you for teacher. being class. Yes. In this case, when we use for, mm -hmm. uh, we can say uh, for three years ago also. No. For three years ago, no. Since three years ago, see. Sí. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there are some tricks that we need to know 
but the more you use it the more you will understand it all right okay so now guys we have officially finished unit one and we're going to go on with unit two okay now Unit 2, y lo voy a volver a repetir, de hecho, todo el nivel 6, digamos que ya, sí, prácticamente es todo, we review. Si usted se fijó, en, la, en las clases pasadas estábamos como hablando mucho del pasado, all right? O, eh, haciendo énfasis como en esa pronunciación. In unit two, we're going to review simple present. Y usted me va a decir, teacher, ¿en serio? Y yo le voy a decir, sí. All right, it's very, very, very important that you understand simple present y que nunca más se le olviden las reglas del simple present, okay? You are about to go to intermediate level. Le faltan tres semanas y va a pasar al intermedio. All right, when you get to intermediate level, usted no puede decir, Francisco, um, have a, a car. No puede decir eso. All right, Francisco. I have, yes. I have a car. Yeah. All right, entonces tenemos que tener cuidado con ah. los verbos. He de... has a car. Yeah. All right, con los verbos en tercera persona singular afirmativo. Y si por casualidad ya se le olvidó, pues qué bueno que estamos repasando el presente simple antes de irnos al intermedio. Ok, recuerde que en el intermedio ya es más hablar, hablar, hablar. Properly, all right? So you need to make less mistakes, okay? Now, I'm going to share my book with you here. Just give me a second. I don't know where my book is. Oh, it's here. All right, so For here example, we go. Yes. If, if, if I want to say uh, the teacher, the teacher teaches, uh, enseña teaches. Teaches, sí, claro. Okay. Ah, okay. Yes. The, the teacher teaches and uh, new topics. Yes. The teacher teaches oh. new topics. Very good. All right. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Usted no puede decir the teacher teach porque es una teacher <laughs> en este caso o un teacher. Ahora si usted dice the teachers, diez ah, maestros, yes. cinco maestros, then you say teach. Ahí sí porque son plural, verdad? Porque son varios. They, ya, yeah, es como que diga de exacto. Pero si usted dice, por ejemplo, Jessica teaches English. No, or she teaches English. Uh -huh. Or my teacher teaches English. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. All those possibilities, Correct. Francisco. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, <laughs> a lot guys. of possibilities. Yes, a lot of possibilities. And we have to understand each of them. Okay. So let's go to page 19 and it's unit number two, a staff and a schedules. All right, a ver, Mariano, léame donde dice I will be able to. Okay, I will be able to. Ask and tell about schedules, activities in the regular day in the workplace. Excellent, thank you, all right. So I will be able to ask and tell about a scheduled activities in a regular day in the workplace, okay? A scheduled, creo que ya saben qué es, pero es agendada o calendarizada. Okay. Or actividades agendadas, all right, etc. What is, number one, it says, let's start. What is a regular day at your workplace like? How busy are you? All right, si usted me hace esta pregunta, vamos a hablar un poquito like about this question right now. This question, all right? I'm just gonna copy it here. I'm going to stop sharing my book and I'm going to use my, uh, maybe no, it's not gonna work here. No, all right, what is? ¿Qué me dicta esa, esa pregunta? What is? ¿Cuál era? A regular, is a regular day uh -huh. at the workplace like thank you okay thank you all right oops all right what is a regular day at your workplace like all right what i'm asking is for you to tell me the activities you do 
regularly at the workplace, not at your house, not at church, at your workplace, all right? So for example, in my case, I say, uh, what is a regular day at your workplace like? Um, I, well, I turn on my computer, I work on the platform, I teach two classes in the morning, I teach two classes in the afternoon, one class in the evening, I check university students' homework. All right, entonces cuando usted viene y me pregunta, what is a regular day at your workplace like? All right, then I tell you the activities I do or I make. I make a list. Entonces yo le digo, ah, my, yo, pueda también que yo le pueda decir, my regular day at my workplace is busy. It's crazy. It's hectic. All right, it's hectic. Hay un, si me ayudan con un micrófono por ahí que se escucha un poquito de sonido. All right. My work day, my regular, my regular day is busy. Because, y entonces usted ya me dice todo lo que usted hace. ¿Cómo es su día? No que si le gusta el día. El like ahí no es gustar, es cómo es su día. What is a regular day at your workplace like? Is it busy? Is it fun? Is it exciting? Is it tiring? What is it like? Okay, so then you have to tell me more activities, okay? I'm gonna stop sharing this for a second. All right, let me see here. Daniel, what is your what is a regular day at your workplace like? Is it busy? Is it relaxing? Is it um it's, it's, um, it's sometimes busy, sometimes relaxed. Um, okay. uh, generally uh, I check when I when I arrive to my to my workplace. Mm -hmm. I check, I check the ramp, I check the schedules of uh, flight. Arrivals? Uh, arrivals and or the parking. Okay. Yeah, this is, yes. this is my regular, my regular day. Ah, all right, very good. Let's see, Johnny, what is a regular day at your workplace like? Is it busy? Is it fun? Is it exciting? Busy, but when I teach to I teach to the students, uh -huh. I'm it's 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 excited. Ah, it's exciting, Johnny. All right, okay, very nice. Thank you. Let's see. What about um Romeo? What is your typical day at your workplace like, Romeo? Um, is regular. Okay. Um, usually, and um, I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. Wow, Romeo, I like your job. <laughs> All right, very nice. Let's see. What about Ever? Tell me about a typical day at your workplace. Like, how is it like? Is it busy? Is not so busy? Yeah, it's a, it's a crazy in the morning. During the day, uh, it's so busy. Ah, okay. I start, okay. The, I start in the morning, check my schedule, visit to my customers, and then I make some calls, some uh, calls to my okay. customers, and answer to uh, the email to my customers, and then I go. I get out to to, to the route. All right, very good, Ever. Thank you. A ver, one more. Thank you. Thank you. All right, one more to tell me about a regular day at work. Maybe Vicky or Jasmine or Carlos, Eduardo or Fatima. I know I escuchaba Fatima. All right. Hey, teacher. Okay, Carlos, thank you. In my case, uh, I have complicated days. And sometimes 
but is different the activity okay all right very good okay, okay. i understand that very nice one more for everybody okay okay let me tell you uh-huh okay um my regular day at my workplace is very busy because okay. because i have a lot of activities that that i do i do okay. it yeah that i do mm -hmm. so uh, every day uh, i have to share uh, a lot of information about the companies and the, because i am uh, how do you say contador i am an accountant I am in accounting. An accountant. I'm accounting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, I need to, I need to focus on on my job and with people, and the indication I give. Indication. Give instructions. Give. Instructions. Instructions. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. I have to give instructions, instructions then. Okay, all right. Yes, I, yes. yes to them. You have yes, to give instructions I, to them. Every day I have pas ocupado. Every day you're busy. Pasar ocupado, how do you say? You're busy. Every day I'm busy. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, very and good. That's mm -hmm. it. Okay, very good, Francisco. Thank you. All right. So, with this in mind, we're going to go and share my book again so we, we can see it. All right. Now, here is a conversation with Will and Orson. It says, this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. All right. So let's just practice the conversation for a little bit. So, Fatima, I want you to be Will, and Jasmine, can you please be Orson? Okay. Is this kitchen looks great. Is that who is in char charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good, good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she, she doesn't. Jorge, does he take the orders from um, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's right. Very good. Uh huh. Yes, I yes, 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 two o'clock p.m. Or so um, no, so you can say two o'clock or two p.m., but no, no, less dos. Okay, mm -hmm. I get it. And who doesn't after him? Does his brother take the others orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay, very good. Hi, Elvir. Good evening. Good evening. All right, very good. Okay. So sorry for my delay. That's okay. Don't worry. I read your text. Thank you for okay, being in you. class. Thank you. All right, let's see. What about... um. Let me see here. I'm looking for, where are you? Hey, teacher. 
All right, a ver. I lost him. All right, let's see. Um, Carla, can you please be well? And Ever, can you please can you please be Orson? Hey, teacher. Uh, this is kitchen looks. Uh, this is kitchen looks great. It does. Who's in charge of cleaning? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. I did, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she does. George mm -hmm. does. He takes. Orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does? after him does he brothers take the order after him yes he does all right very good all right so here we have this kitchen looks great it does who is in charge of cleaning it acuérdense que cuando tenemos el object pronoun it por lo general lo unimos con el verbo que está antes Cleaning it, reading it, or put it, take it, love it, todos esos, all right, terminan con el it, all right, pero no lo separamos, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos cleaning it. All right, Jessica is, she cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed. All right, esa palabra es indeed. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. All right. Okay. I want you to check the conversation. And I don't know if you have any questions about the <coughs> words. To share. Yes. Indeed. Indeed, it's a an, an complex expression. Eh, it's not complex. It's just an expression that we use. We like to say that's correct. Indeed. De hecho. Exacto. Cabal. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very nice. Anything else? Teacher. Yes, Johnny. Uh, is it shift? Mm -hmm. uh, um, cambio? Mm -hmm. Oh no, in this case, eh, morning in, shift. Morning shift is el, es el turno de la mañana. Ah, oh, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Fuera el turno de la noche, decimos Coach, night shift. Eh, I... Hola. Um, for example, and the questions, uh, when, I, when, I, when I make a question, and uh, the birds in the base form. I use yes. the bird in the base form. For That's example, right. Jessica take orders. Take orders during the morning shift. The bird, the bird uh -huh. is used in the base form. That's right. Yes. Yeah, it's something yes. that we need. Yes, that's something that we need to okay. remember when we talk about simple present. When we have the auxiliary, the verbs go back to the present. I mean, to the base form of the verb. We don't need the S anymore. Okay, only in uh -huh. affirmative yes. sentences. Uh huh. I remember right. already. Yes, very good. Okay, now here it says. Um, I want you to do these questions. Yeah, I want you to do to use um, to answer these questions. Lo van a hacer individual. Who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays? What does Jorge do? 
And when does Jorge's brother take orders? All right. Ahora, necesito respuestas largas y completas donde se vea el uso del verbo. All right. Les doy un par de minutitos. Answer them and then we check them. All right, who's going to help me to do number one? To answer number one, who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays? Jessica cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. Excellent, thank you. Jessica cleans the kitchen from Mondays Wednesday. Mondays to Wednesdays. All right. Very good. All right. Very nice. Okay. Number two. What does Jorge do? Jorge takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. So Jorge takes orders from 10 to 2 p.m., right? Okay, very good. What about number three? Someone else to do number three for me. When does Jorge brother takes order? A uh, brother, Jorge brother takes order after Jorge. Jorge's brother takes orders. Takes orders after Jorge's. After. Brother. Jorge. All right. Yes. Jorge's brother takes orders after Jorge. Okay. Now, watch the verbs. Okay. Remember that we need to take this into account. We're talking about Jessica. We're talking about Jorge. Or we're talking about Jorge's brother. All of those are third person singular. All right. Hay alguien que tiene diferente respuesta. Teacher, uh, number one, mm -hmm. uh, yo puse Jessica is cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. All right. Ahora, si usted... Is. Sí, y el, le agregó is y el, y el verbo, ¿cómo lo puso, Alexander? Cleans, siempre lo mismo. Cleans. Ok, no. Sin ese, sin ese. Ah, ok. Entonces, acuérdese que el verbo to be no puede ir de la mano con un verbo de acción. Entonces, yo okay. no puedo poner Jessica is cleans. Puedo poner Jessica is cleaning the kitchen 
pero se sale, digamos, porque ya no sería presente simple. El presente simple, por eso es su nombre, ¿verdad? Porque no lleva mucho adorno. Es el sujeto, verbo, predicado. ¿Ok? Entonces, en ese caso, quítele el es Alex y ponga nada más Jessica cleans o she, ¿verdad? She cleans okay. the kitchen. Muy bien. Ok. Thank you. Any other questions? Teacher. Yes. We can say this. Jessica is in a church to clean the kitchen in these days. Tell me again, Eden. <laughs> Jessica is in a church to clean the kitchen in these days. Sí, lo, sí. Jessica is in charge to clean. Yeah, you can say that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Ah, okay. Ahora, puede usar en ese caso, ever you can use is porque estar a cargo no es un verbo. All right. Entonces, por eso sí puedo decir Jessica is in charge, bla, bla, bla. All right. Very good. Si me va a seguir un verbo, entonces sí no puedo poner is. Very okay. nice, ever. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm gonna move. I'm just gonna erase this here. All right, so let's move here. Um, it says, how to use simple present for scheduled activities. It says, use the simple present for scheduled activities. Matt serves at 2 p.m. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. Andrea cleans the tables from 5 to 9 p.m. Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. All right, so all these sentences, sorry, all these sentences are talking about third person singular. That's affirmative. That's why they have S or ES to the verbs. Okay? All right. Very good. Ya vamos a hacer este ejercicio que está acá. Lo vamos a hacer en grupo, pero ahorita voy a dejar de compartir and I'm going to take attendance of the second hour. All right. Veamos aquí. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present teacher. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present. Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. Present. José Francisco Hernández Ávalos. Present. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. María Merina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. I'm here teacher. Misael Rivera Aquino. Thank you. Nancy Lizer Rodriguez Escoto. Present teacher. Romeo Alexis Rodriguez Joaquín. Present. Jasmine Melanie Lemus Rodriguez. Present teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Victoria María. Present. Oh, thank you. Ana Milcar Cañengues Aceituno. Very good. María Melina la mencioné. Sí. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, very nice. All right, so let's let's um go on and work on this part right here. 
Okay, we're gonna work on this. It says use the verbs from the box to write sentences about you and people in your workplace, all right? Vamos a hacer dos cosas ahorita. Una, cada quien de forma individual va a llenar esas seis oraciones usando esos seis verbos. For example, I can say I work at, um, I don't know, I work at Inglés Corporativo, Anuka. All right. Oraciones, no preguntas. Eh, Inglés Corporativo opens at nine in the morning. I arrive at UCA at um, 1.30 p.m. All right. Close. Usted puede decir um, algo relacionado con usted. Si su empresa, ¿verdad? The, the company closes at quarter to six. And I go home at six o'clock. Todas esas oraciones son sobre mí. Affirmative sentences. Okay. Yes. Ahora, usted cuando se vaya a su grupo. Okay. Yes. Ok, cuando usted se vaya a su grupo, usted le va no, a leer. Francisco. ¿Perdone, Francisco? No, I'm sorry. Ok. Cuando usted se vaya a su grupo, por ejemplo, yo estoy trabajando con María Emelina. Entonces, yo le voy a leer las oraciones. Le voy a leer la primera, María Melina. Yo le voy a decir, I work at um, Inglés Corporativo Anuka. Cuando yo termine, como usted ya me escuchó la, la oración, usted me va a preguntar, Jessica, where do you work? All right. Y yo le voy a volver a repetir mi información. Ahora, María Melina, cuando lo escriba, ella va a poner, Jessica works at inglés corporativo, an uca, porque es tercera persona singular. Y de repente es así como, y vamos a estar repitiendo, sí, acuérdese que si, if you don't practice, you forget. All right, entonces la primera es decir la oración que usted ya escribió a su compañero o compañera, se la dice y ella inmediatamente le hace la pregunta. ¿Por qué? Porque de repente se nos puede olvidar cómo hacer la pregunta. All right, relacionado a lo que mi compañera o compañero me dijo, ¿ok? Usando el verbo y la, la, la WH question necesaria, ¿ok? Y así vamos a ir. Luego, cuando usted me vuelva a escuchar, usted va a decir, lo va a escribir, quiero que lo escriban ya en tercera persona singular, porque usted no puede poner, I work at inglés corporativo Anuka, porque usted no soy yo, yo no soy usted. All right, entonces va a poner Francisco works donde él trabaje. O Johnny works donde el, el nombre del colegio que es la clase. Ok. Y así vamos a llenar eh, las seis oraciones. Cada quien esas son individuales. Terminan esas seis oraciones. Se las dicen y le hacen preguntas a su compañero a usted sobre sus oraciones. Ok. Yes. Yeah, guys? Yes, yes. All right. very good. Okay, so let's work on this right now, guys, please. Igual yo ya los voy a empezar a mandar. Ustedes, eh, si van haciendo una pregunta y así, como usted quiera. La idea es terminar las seis mías. María Melina me cuestiona a mí. Después María Melina me dice las de ella y yo le hago las preguntas a María Melina. Cuando regresemos, yo le voy a preguntar, ajá, eh, Jasmine, ¿con quién trabajo? Con Carlos o Alberto. Ajá, te mi a Carlos o Alberto. Y ahí me va a decir, ah, Carlos o Alberto works, bla, bla, bla. Eh, the office opens a la hora que el Carlos o Alberto le dijo que abre la empresa. Yes? So all the information me la va a trasladar a mí en tercera persona singular afirmativo. Ok? So watch the verse. Por eso tienen que poner atención e ir escribiendo. Igual, me van escribiendo en el grupo cuando vayan terminando para no interrumpirles y que sí logren terminar la actividad. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer varios grupos, pero sí necesito que... Eh, van a estar en pareja, ¿ok? Right? En, en parejas ahorita.
creo, 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 no estoy. Ahí está la teacher, ya. Hi, Hi teacher. teacher. Eh, una pregunta, es, me decía aquí con Vicky, si ella me dice que trabaja de lunes a sábado, uh -huh. lo que yo le voy a preguntar es como, eh, por, o dónde trabaja, o... Ajá, o... usted le puede decir, when do you work? ¿Cuándo, verdad? When. When. ¿Por qué cuándo, teacher? Si yo le estoy diciendo que trabajo de lunes a sábado. Porque me da, me da un tiempo. Ah, Ajá. Como la estructura de esa pregunta. O sea, que lo que usted quiere que nosotros hagamos la estructura de la pregunta bajo la respuesta que estoy dando en la oración. Super Vicky, yay. Ah, <risa> Ajá, porque ay, si yo, yo le digo, yo... por ejemplo... Si yo solo le dijera, I work en inglés corporativo, usted me dice, where do you work, ¿verdad? Porque yo le estoy dando un lugar. Si yo le digo, I teach from 8 to 10, usted me diría, ¿cuándo? O sea, en otras palabras, ¿a qué horas eh, da clase, verdad? Entonces yo le dijera, I work from 8 to 10. Entonces mi respuesta ah. pega con su pregunta o viceversa, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ya, hoy sí ya le entendí. Ok. <laughs> Very good. Gracias, teacher. Bueno. Gracias, teacher. Bye, entonces. Teacher, yo no tengo, yo no estoy en grupo. Ahorita, Misael, perdone, que andaba en otro grupo. Sí, ajá, es que me metí en un grupo y me dio a la tercera sala, pero no me apareció nadie. Ah, ahorita lo muevo, Misael, no se preocupe. Bueno, Vaya, misa, ya lo mandé. Mire, teacher, una consulta. Dígame. Eh, las oraciones son en tercera persona. Cuando ya se la los diga compañeras, sí. Ajá. Ah, ya metiendo a, a mis compañeros de trabajo. Exacto, sí, sí. Ah, bueno, muchas gracias. Bueno. Muchas.
All right, Marco, did you finish? Just a short. All right, very good. All right, what about you, Maria Melina? Finished? Nancy and Fatima, yes? Excellent, very nice, okay. All right, so let's see. While everybody else comes back, um, Marco, who did you work with? Did you work with Maria Melina? No. Not here. No. Okay, Marco, who did you work with? Uh, no sé cómo se llama. <laughs> oh no, Marco. Let's see. Yo, yo, Daniel. Ah, oh, Daniel. Ah, oh, all right. Oh my goodness, Marco. All right, that's okay. I, I, I write, I, I write his name in the sentence and don't remember. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's okay. A ver, Marco, tell me about Daniel. Tell me the information about Daniel. All right, Daniel. The, the first, uh -huh. uh, Daniel works near to international airport. Okay. The first, the second, Daniel opens his lock, locker at 7 a.m. Um, Daniel, the number three. Yes. Daniel arrived arrive his job at 6 to uh, 45 a.m. Okay. Number four, Daniel closed his computer at 7 p.m. Uh-huh. Daniel closed or Daniel closes? Closes. Thank you. Uh, Daniel goes to the to his house at 7 p.m. All right, Daniel goes to his house. All right, very good. Thank you. Nice. Let's see. What about um Maritza? Who did you work with, Maritza? With Johnny. Oh, all right, very good. So Maritza, tell me about Johnny. Johnny works at Colegio Amigos de Israel. Okay. Johnny opens his classroom at 7 a.m. Ah, oh, nice. Uh-huh. Johnny arrives, 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 arrives uh -huh. at school at 7.30 a.m. Okay. Johnny closes his classroom at 12.30 p.m. Okay. Johnny go goes mm -hmm. his home at 1 p.m. Okay, Johnny goes uh, back to his house. All right, very good, thank you, nice. Let's see, what about Vicky? Vicky, tell me about Jasmine, right? Yes, teacher. All right, tell me, okay? Bueno. Jasmine um, don't work uh, Saturday. Okay, a ver, um, Vicky decimos eh, Jasmine don't work or Jasmine doesn't work? Jasmine doesn't work. Okay. Uh, on Saturday, uh, uh -huh. Jasmine uh, have a dog. Uh, if uh, you open the close, the dogs ay, sale corriendo. Let's go. Oh, the dog goes out <laughs> running. Okay. So if she doesn't close the door, the dog goes out running, okay? Okay. Um, Anything else? Jasmine, Jasmine arrive at arrive? office, arrive, pardon, at office at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m., okay. Yes. Okay, very good, thank you. Let's see, what about um, Trini? Who did you work with, Trini? Con... ¿Quién trabajó con Trini? Fátima, no. 
No. Victoria Maria. Oh, okay, all right, Trini, so tell us about Victoria. Yes, she works at the Holy Trinity School. Mm -hmm. His workplace, his workplace mm -hmm. opens at 6 story uh, oh, I am. Okay, sería her workplace, ¿verdad? His, um, her, his, bueno, no sé. Let's she do it. Uh -huh. her, okay, she arrives. She arrives at my work, at your work. Al mío o al de ella? Adea, she arrives. Uh -huh. She arrives at her at work. Her work uh -huh. at seven o'clock. Okay, nice. His place. Oh no, closes it's four p.m. Okay. She goes. Home from work at 11.15 p.m. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Um. What about um. Hilmar, who did you work with? Uh, with Francisco. Oh. Okay. So tell me about Francisco. Okay. Francisco works. From Monday to Saturday. Okay. Okay. Francisco workplace opens at 8 p.m. Okay. Francisco arrives at each workplace at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Francisco close the door at night. Francisco close or Francisco closes? Closes. Okay. Francisco down to his workplace at 6 a.m. Okay. Only? Only. All right, very nice. Okay, so make sure that when you talk to someone about someone else, all right, that is third person singular. And you need to remember that those verbs, you have to add S, ES or IES only in affirmative sentences, not in negative sentences, not in questions, okay? Only in affirmative sentences, okay? Do you guys remember that? ¿Se acuerdan de esa regla, sí? Yes? ¿Cuándo le agregamos no? ¿No se acuerdan? Yes, no? <laughs> Si no se acuerdan, sería, o sea, no hay problema y la volvemos a repetir. All right, because I need you guys to remember, especialmente cuando hacemos el cambio en el verbo que solo lleva S, otros llevan ES y otros llevan IES. ¿Se acuerdan de esa? Sí, no, más o menos. Mm, más o Ajá, menos. Ya, yeah. más o menos. <laughs> All right, very good. So, so, all right, okay. A ver, estos cambios que yo acabo de mencionar, ya, lo, ya se los voy a compartir en una presentación acá. Esos cambios se aplican nada más para tercera persona singular, ¿verdad? Si yo digo Evers, si yo digo Fátima, si digo Jasmine, si digo eh, My Car, si digo Her Boss, if I say Your Sister, all right, third person singular. Si yo hablo de I, you, we, they, nada le pasa al verbo nunca. Nunca de los nunca, all right? Así sea afirmativo, negativo, pregunta, nada le va a pasar al verbo. Solo le va a pasar algo, lleva una inflexión, un cambio de ese verbo, si sí, estoy hablando de una tercera persona singular afirmativa, ¿ok? No en negativo, no en pregunta. Ahorita eh, les voy a presentar aquí... All done. A ver cuál es, creo que es esto. Una de estas dos tiene que ser. All right, solo para que nos recordemos, no cae mal el recordatorio para nada. Si usted lo maneja súper bien, excellent. 
All right. Pero si necesitamos que lo manejen todos. Okay, just give me a second here, guys. It's this one. Okay, so here we have. Voy a compartir esto acá. All right, simple present or present simple, like whatever you want to say. We have, esa regla es para tercera persona singular. Sometimes we're going to add S. Some other times we're going to add ES and other times we're going to add IES. Okay, now when, okay, so we add S, this is a general rule. We add S to the verb, all right? Most of them, por lo general, la mayoría, a la mayoría solo le va a llegar y le va a agregar S. Run becomes runs. Read, reads, smile, smiles, write, writes. Entonces yo digo Maritza runs after the bus. All right. I say Gilmar reads the newspaper every day. Fatima <laughs> smiles with everyone. All right. Johnny writes a lesson plan. All right. Solo vengo y le agrego ese y no pasa nada. ¿Cómo voy a saber yo si le agrego S? Si no está en la regla 2 ni en la regla 3. Si no está en esas dos reglas, solo le agrega S, que por lo general es la mayoría. Ok. Verbs ending in Y. All right. Plus, um, we have a vowel plus Y. All right. Tenemos una vocal y luego una Y o una Y como play and pay. Only add S. Ok. Si termina en Y, pero le, le antecede una vocal, solo le agrego S. But if I have a consonant plus Y, voy a cambiar esa Y, I will drop the Y, I will add I and ES. Study, studies. Cry, cries. All right. Ese cambio va a suceder siempre y cuando antes de la, de la Y se encuentre otra consonante. Si se encuentra una vocal, solo agregue el S. All right. Y ahí dice, ¿verdad? Change the Y by I and add ES. Rule number three. Verbs ending in O, S, S. S, H, C, H, X, and Z, le va a agregar E, S. All right, so you say go, goes. No me vaya a decir goes. All right, kiss, kisses. Wash, washes. Watch, watches. Relax, relaxes. Spritz, it spritzes. All right, so here we add E, S. Esa sería, por decirlo así, la regla ortográfica de cuándo voy a agregar S, E, S, o E, I, E, S to the verb solo para tercera persona singular afirmativo. Solo para he, she, it. All right. Vamos, me van siguiendo con eso, yes. Ajá. Yes. Okay. What is the meaning of split? split? Uh, like similar to squish. All right. It's like um, like when you kind of like move your hand, you split something. It's like squirt. Okay. Sure. Mm, okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's like um. It's like when you do this, you split something. It's like similar to squish. All right. Okay, let's see. Okay. De la reg Very good. De la regla, nos queda clara esa regla cuando vamos a escribir S, E, S, or I, E, S. Yes. Yeah? All right. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Then we have negative. Vamos a hacer como el repaso de todo. 
Negative, we use don't and doesn't. Don't is for I, you, we, they. I don't cry, we don't cry, they don't cry, you don't cry, okay? When we use doesn't, we use doesn't for he, she, it. Doesn't y el verbo regresa a su forma base. Quiere decir que esas reglas de S, E, S, O, S ya no aplican. Por eso decimos that it only happens in affirmative sentences, not in negative sentences. All right? Important. In negative form, we don't change the verb. Okay? El verbo se queda igual para todos. In interrogative form, we use do and does, the auxiliary verb. We use do for I, you, we, you, they. Do I, do you, do we, do you study, do they study? All right, el verbo no le pasa nada. Para ellos nunca le va a pasar algo al verbo. All right, for does, we use for he, she, it. Does she study, does he study, does it study? Al verbo regresa su forma original, su forma base, porque lleva el auxiliar does. Por eso la regla de S, S y S solo aplica for affirmative sentences. Important, in interrogative form, we don't change the verb. Okay, the verb doesn't change. All right. A ver, Carlita, my teddy every day. Ajá, uh -huh, A, B, A, B, A, B, or C, Carla. Carla, A, B, or C, my teddy every day. A. Segura. Como que se llama Carla Benazir Lara. My teddy, my teddy. My teddy oh. runs B. Yes, my teddy runs every Run. day. All right. Very good. Um. Yeah, very good. Let's see. Johnny, my teddy A, B, C every day. Um, letter C. My teddy doesn't, doesn't run. run. Very good, um, Johnny. Thank you. Ever? Aha, uh -huh, Ever. My teddy every day. A, B, or C. Letter A. All right. Does my teddy run every day? Very good. Thank you. All right. Then we have my brother a book, Maritza. Aha, uh -huh, Maritza. A, B, or C? A. Ah, okay. My brother reads a book. Very good. All right. Fatima. In negative, Fatima, my brother. Is letter B? Yes, my brother doesn't read a book. Very nice. Ese le agarró la tarde ahora. A ver, <laughs> let's see. Edwin, um, in question. A, B, or C, um, Edwin. B. Seguro, Edwin? Mm, no, C, let it C. <laughs> Very good, Edwin. Yes, does my brother read a book? Very nice. Okay. Francisco, aha. Uh -huh. A, B, or C, Fran? A. I write a letter. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Oh, look, I, 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 uh huh. Here we have. Alexander, in negative, A, B, or C? Uh, B. Are you sure, Alexander? A little B. Don't Better? Fight. B. B. Seguro. Letter C, teacher. 
Yes. Letter C. Acuérdese que para la, ah. la primera persona el verbo jamás va a llevar S, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Yes. yes. No había I visto la S. <laughs> Muy bien. I don't write a letter. Very good. Jasmine, in question, Jasmine. Did it be? Yes, do I write a letter? Very nice, thank you. All right, Elvir, A, B, or C. B. Are you sure, Elvir? Danny, sorry, C. Yes, very good. Danny plays with his toy truck. Very nice, thank you. All right, Nancy Lisset, what about negative? Letter C. Segura, Nancy? B. Uh, no, teacher, letter B. Letter B, that's right, Nancy. Very nice. Thank you. All right, let me see here. Vamos a ver qué más está with there. Um, Romeo, what about this one? Danny. Does, does Danny play? Does play? Hey, does play? Letter C? Yes. Or, okay. Letter C, yes. Does, does Danny play with his toy truck? Very nice. Okay. Vamos a hacer la última. A ver, Vicky Dinora. A, B, or C, Vicky. Mm -hmm. Um. Sí. Segura, Vicky. Um, Con el you, al verbo, y cuando usamos you, al verbo no le pasa nada, Vicky. Hey. Hey. Yes, you pay with euros. Very good. All right, in negative, let me see here. What about Misael? Do in Spain, you do in Spain what euros? B or C, Misael? Yes. Eh, la B o la C, no la escuché bien. La la A. Ah, seguro, Misael. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que usamos con you? B. Letter C, teacher. Letter C. Letter C, you don't pay. Very good, all right. Uh, let's see, we have the question here. Uh, Jorge Alfredo, can you do this one, uh, Jorge? Uh, letter C. Do you pay? Yes, very good. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. All right. I want to stop sharing this. All right, guys. Very good. So just um, this is like important. So we know and we remember things that we kind of forgot. Okay, but it's nice that you guys um, remember pretty much everything here. Okay. Um, tomorrow, we're going to continue talking about simple present, but we're going to use um, some adverbs, all right? For example, often, seldom, never, all right? That we need to understand that we usually use these adverbs with simple present okay 
so because we still have a couple of minutes here uh let me see uh maybe johnny can you be mr mott and uh, let's see maybe carlos eduardo melgar are you there yes teacher. all right can you be jennifer Okay. Hello, hello Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Miss Mr. Mount. I just checking the number of people have come in a regular visit. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies. And I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, where are prominent a dessert every week? Do we ever give a promotional item? Uh, teacher, I don't see the continue. Thanks, thanks, teacher. Yeah. No, sir. We never do. Excellent, thank you. All right. Okay, very good. Let's see. Um. Si me ayudan con un micrófono ahí está abierto. Thank you. All right. A ver, Marco, can you please be Mr. Mott and um, and Alexander, can you please be Jennifer? Hello. Hello, Jennifer. How is, how is it going? Yes, fine, Miss, Mr. Mox. I am just checking, sharing. The number of people will come in the regular basis. Uh, that sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do you change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. Oh. Howere, or says, Howere. We are, Howere, we are from promoting Idesin every week. And do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. No, we never do. Excellent, thank you. All right, I'm just going to read it one more time before we finish class. All right, it says, hello, Jennifer, how's it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just checking the number of people who come in on a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we're promoting a, a dessert every week. Do we ever give a, pro a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. All right, so tomorrow we're going to remember, porque esto ya lo han visto, eh, the adverbs of frequency, often, seldom, never, usually, sometimes, rarely, hardly ever, um, usually, frequently, todos esos son adverbs of frequency that we need to remember them, all right? Because they have, a slight difference between each of them, all right? So we need to remember those tomorrow. Igual mañana, when we start class, I'm going to read the conversation again, and then you can tell me if you have any questions about the vocabulary or about the pronunciation. Okay, so I'm gonna take the last um, attendance. Edwin, si se me puede quedar un ratito hoy? Yeah, all right, very good. Okay, Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. Carlos Alberto Rodriguez. Then, 
Carlos o Alberto, ¿no? Daniel Antonio Luna. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Fátima Alejandra Centeno Franco. Present. Gilmar Cruz Méndez Méndez. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jonathan Alexander Pineda Díaz. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. Present. José Francisco Hernández Ábalos. All right. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. No se preocupe. Present. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Present teacher. Romeo Alexis Rodríguez Joaquín. Present. Yasmín Melanie Lemus Rodríguez. Present teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Argueta Flores. Alfredo, teacher, present. Alfredo, I'm sorry. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. <laughs> Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. All right. And Amilcar Cañengas Aceituno. All right, guys. Very good. Thank you so much for joining class. I'll see you tomorrow. Solo se me queda un ratito, Edwin Eliseo. Bye, guys. Thank you, good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. You too. Good night, rest. See tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Teacher. Hola. Teacher. Hola. Eh, excuse me. Eh, yes. Quería solicitarle algo. Dígame. Eh, ¿Me podría decir qué día me tocan los 10 minutos? Eh, que fíjese que estoy en mi trabajo y a las 10 me toca que ir a ver, supervisar que todo quede bien. Pero ese sí. día puedo uh, cambiar un par de cosas. Pues, para... Ah, ok. Fíjese, eh, eh, Gilmar, Gilmar, que ahora es martes, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Martes, miércoles, jueves. el viernes. Viernes, ah, ok, sí. excelente. Bye. Está bien, muchísimas gracias. Bueno, bien. a usted, gracias. Thank you. Ajá, Edwin, how are you? ¿Qué le pasó, Edwin? Se me enfermó. Sí, fíjese que, no sé, de repente empecé con una malestar en la garganta. Uh -huh. Y... Y, pero fue desde la semana pasada, solo que como en el trabajo ha estado bien complicado porque han salido varias personas positivas. Sí. Y yo estuve pues, básicamente con mi jefa, que la tengo a la par cerca de mí, y ella dio positivo, pero yo estuve con ella. Y incluso como estábamos solo los dos y casi nadie entra ahí, hasta por otro lado se me olvidaba la mascarilla. Pero no me he enfermado, o sea, o sea solo esto es el malestar en la garganta. Ella dio positivo, se fue como 10 días de, de incapacidad sí. hasta que dio negativo, regresó. Y yo uh -huh. seguía negativo porque me estuve haciendo pruebas. Incluso el domingo me fue a hacer otra vez la prueba porque andaba así, afónico, y, y di negativo y yo me quedé así como que... <risa> Pero me quedé, o sea, yo pensé que iba a dar positivo porque Ajá. los síntomas que sentía... Ahí, pero sí, más sí. que todo el síntoma solo era la garganta. La garganta. No, nada de fiebre, nada, solo nada de fiebre sí. ni dolor de cuerpo. Sí, sí. Solo era en la garganta. Ay, Pero no. sí. Y ayer me tocó, me tocó estar en el trabajo, hasta salí como a la una. Así que me tocó pesado y así andaba. Sí. Ajá, Pero hoy claro. se siente un poquito mejor, Edwin. Sí, 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 hoy sí me siento ya mucho mejor. Okay. <ríe> Mire, Mira, teacher, yo le iba a preguntar. Bueno, dígame. Es que a, mí, a mí, bueno. Siento que me ha costado, está costando bastante porque eh, el parón que hubo, o sea, yo no practiqué nada, yo no practiqué nada, entonces sentí que, que me afectó bastante porque sí. por rato se, sentía como que me quedaba así como que, no sé qué dice, solo tal vez dos palabras no entendía y trataba de asimilar lo que decía, 
pero por rato sí siento que me cuesta, entonces no sé cómo que, cómo que me puede recomendar, este, o si tiene algo que me dé, donde yo pueda leer, que me pueda mandar, y yo como para refrescarme un poco, tal vez si tiene, no sé, tal vez me ayuda ahí, porque no sé cómo qué leer, porque sí. para empezar no me, no me queda como mucho tiempo por el trabajo, y, y, y no sé si tal vez me ayuda con eso, porque sí, ahora rato me siento perdido. Sí, vaya, si gusta, bueno, igual le puedo compartir eh, la presentación que vimos ahora, porque acuérdense sí. que es como lo básico, ¿verdad? De hecho, eh, acuérdense que este bueno, nivel estamos como repasando, ¿verdad? Entonces, le puedo mandar la presentación que vimos ahora, alguna presentación que tengo por ahí del pasado, ¿verdad? Para que uh -huh. se acuerde más o menos la estructura, igual del continuo, ¿verdad? Porque ese también lo vamos a ver acá. Entonces, si gusta, uh -huh. hágame un favor, Re me recuerde uh -huh. mañana por la mañana para que Vaya, yo le mande el, esas, esas cuestioncitas para que usted las pueda tener ahí. Y de bueno, repente, sí. déjeme ver ahí algún sitio donde le puedo recomendar para que usted pueda hacer como algunos ejercicios en línea, ¿verdad? Donde no okay. le tome mucho tiempo, son unos cinco minutitos uh -huh. y ya, ya ¿verdad? Para practicar por lo menos. Ajá, cabal. Sí, porque eso creo que es lo fundamental, o sea, practicar porque sí. si no... Y en, sí, en de... mi caso... O sea, Sí, claro, sí, y de sí, repente tengo, cuando uno se para así como que se detiene, se le, se le olvida. <risa> ¿Verdad? Sí, sí, pues, pero sí, sí, sí. vaya, me acuerdo sí, mañana sí. en la mañana, Edwin, yo con mucho gusto sí. se las mando, oye. Bien, teacher. Bueno, ah, pues, muchas gracias, teacher. Bueno, ya sabe, Edwin, cuídese y lo veo mañana, sí. yo le mando esa información. Gracias. Right. Okay. gracias Descanse, teacher. bueno, bye. Gracias.